हे गाइस हाउ आर यू ऑल फ्रेंड्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट थ्री थिंग्स ठीक है फिक्स्ड कॉस्ट वेरिएबल कॉस्ट एंड मार्जिनल कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन फिक्स्ड कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन वेरिएबल कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड मार्जिनल कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन अंडरस्टैंडिंग फिक्स्ड कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इज वेरी वेरी इजी फ्रेंड्स द डिफिकल्ट थिंग इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द मार्जिनल कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन इकोनॉमिक्स एंड इट इज अ वेरी सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट ओके नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फ्रेंड्स आई विल टेल यू अ फॉर्मुला this formula is that marginal cost of production equals to change in total production cost upon change in total quantity okay the second definition i am going to say is that marginal cost of production is used to determine when a company can reach an economy of scale to optimize production and overall operations the third definition marginal cost of production will keep going down as production rises until the company has to incur more cost to produce more products leave it aside this is the technical definition now we'll tell you what marginal cost of production is and we are going to understand it from a mathematical point of view okay friends suppose there is a company okay you opened a company you opened a small company and uh, for running that company you need some sort of infrastructure suppose if it is related to a technical field or industrial field you have to buy some machines okay friends now you are buying some machines that fixed infrastructure okay so the machine cost and the you know the land charges you made a factory so this was the fixed cost that is you purchased the land you built on that land the structure you bought in machines the fixed cap so this big this forms the fixed cost okay friends so for setting up that business this was the fixed cost say machine costed 5 lakh dollars the land costed 3 lakh dollars and the production cost costed 50000 uh, dollars this type of things happen so there is a certain fixed cost there i will not go in the certain figures i will say that this was the fixed cost what will be the variable cost variable cost is that for producing things for producing products or final output you need to bring in some raw material okay you need to bring in some raw material that raw material can be form of iron steel nickel or some manufactured capital good it can be anything another variable cost is that you are going to employ some people some people are going to work in that industry they will work on the machines and then the output will come out some technical staff will be there some human resources staff will be there some research and development staff will be there some expert technical staff will be there so different types of staff will be there and they will be paid some salaries okay so that will be a variable cost so i told you some examples of fixed cost and i told you some examples of variable cost now what is marginal cost friends marginal cost is the co that cost of production which is incurred for manufacturing one additional unit of uh, output i will again repeat it marginal cost of production is that cost friends that additional cost which will be incurred if one more unit is manufactured now suppose i have told you the whole setup that you um, bought a land you bought machines and you made a whole setup and you employed people you bought in raw materials and you are producing things now suppose fixed cost is a one time cost the fixed cost came and uh, suppose the total fixed cost came out to be 10 lakh dollars okay friends now variable cost is variable variable cost will depend upon the amount of output that is coming out okay friends so suppose per day 500 units are coming out and you are selling those units for a certain amount of time now suppose friend the first unit that will be produced from your enterprise what will be the cost of that first unit the cost of that first unit will be equal to the cost of the total fixed cost plus the cost of the raw material now second unit cost will be fixed cost plus raw material divided by 2 three unit cost will be fixed cost plus variable cost divided by 3 fourth unit cost will be you know fixed cost per variable cost divided by 4 so you will understand that as more and more output is being produced as more and more units of you know production is being produced the cost incurred in making that unit the cost incurred here includes the fixed cost and the variable cost that will go on reducing per unit because now you are producing more and more units and as more and more units and pieces are coming out the cost you know the per production cost is going to decrease as new elements are producing so here this means that with every new production of a article the marginal cost is reducing the marginal cost is reducing because you understand that for very first item that you produce the amount of raw material for making that particular article 
plus total fixed cost is the cost of that one article. When 2 came, the cost is divided between 2. When 3 came, the cost divided between 3. That is the fixed cost that was incurred by me, that 10 lakh dollars is now getting divided, you know, in a, into a lot of things as soon as the output is increasing. So, uh, after 2000 articles, or after 3000 articles, or after 10,000, 1 million articles, about 10 lakh, 1 million articles have already been produced, output has already been produced. So, now that fixed cost of 10 lakh dollars will be divided in all of these units. So, you need to understand, friends, that with increasing amount of output, up to a certain amount of time, the marginal cost of production will go on decreasing. But there will be a point that that will come after that the marginal cost of production will increase how this will happen initially up to a certain level with every increased production the marginal cost of production will go on decreasing but there will be a certain amount of time after which manufacturing a particular product the marginal cost of production will increase and when will it happen suppose friends that what the factory which we made you know the initial setup of the fixed cost was around say 10 lakh dollars and variable cost was different and uh, suppose the capacity of that industry was producing 2000 articles a day 2000 articles a day okay friends now uh, i suppose say that uh, every article was being sold for one dollar so every day two thousand dollars were coming to the company and this was going out for months and months and months and months okay now suppose that demand with that company increases and the company needs to produce now 2500 articles per day now the capacity is 2000 articles of production per day but now it is being demanded that you have to produce 2500 articles per day but the capacity of that factory is two uh, is 2000 articles per day only so in order to compensate for the extra 500 articles that has to be produced in a day separate you know investment have to be made how will that investment that more land will be required more machines will be required why because the present amount of land and machines and fixed cost that we have incurred has a capacity of 2000 production per day only and now the demand is of for 2500 per day so there is an excess demand of 500 above the 2000 the capacity of my infrastructure at this point of time is 2000 per day but if i have a demand of 2500 i have to increase my capacity and for that i will be needing more land i will be needing no more machines that means i will be needing more capital investment more fixed cost investment and if i am going to make more fixed cost investment obviously after a certain point of time that is in a particular day in excess of those 2000 articles the marginal cost of my production will go up that is up to a certain level of production according to the capacity the marginal cost of production will decrease but after a certain time the marginal cost of production will increase when the capacity of a fixed infrastructure is you know overshooted so that uh, i told you i will tell you again so that suppose the capacity of my industrial plant was 2000 unit per day and then my marginal cost of, of production was you know okay but as soon as, as i am going to overshoot that mark of 2000 then obviously i will be needing more capacity and for that more capacity i will be needing more land more machines and i have to make more fixed cost investment and that investment will increase my marginal cost of production so this is how marginal cost of production varies with the increasing demand of things so i told you about fixed cost i told you about variable cost and i told you about marginal cost i will again tell you in one line that marginal cost of production is that cost of production incurred when one extra unit is produced so this it was the total explanation about about all these things thing, friends i think this thing is clear to you i have tried to explain it as clear as way as possible i hope i am successful in that so thank you for watching my video friends have a very very nice day goodbye